Hey everybody, welcome back. So as you can hear and probably see behind me, got a little bit of a wind blowing here tonight, but that's okay, we're just gonna press on. Every night is like this here, and if I waited for ideal conditions, well, we'd be waiting a long time. That's all right. I'm gonna talk about the 45 Colt tonight. In front of me here, I've got my Kiapa Model ET92, as I said, and 45 Colt, 20 inch barrel on this one. And it's just been a, a, a really fun gun to shoot. I tried a few different loads in it, but tonight I want to show you guys the HSM bear load. Now, I should, before I go any further, say one of the cool things about the 45 Colt is its versatility. You can go from a really light uh, lead cast uh, cowboy action load to a, a, a jacketed bullet to something like, like an HSM bear load, heavy, hard cast. Uh, gas check 325 grains on this bullet uh, versus 225 and 250 on this one so really gonna pack a punch so something like this if you're heading out into the backcountry and you want some predator protection well this is what you want to take along with you so in my hand here I've got the three bullets that we're talking about that's the the cowboy load that one there is the jacketed 225 grain American Eagle and this one here is the HSM bear load now I'm going to try and line these up and I got to be honest with you I tried uh, loading a couple of those off camera there and I don't know if, if it'll show up on the camera but this HSM being 325 grain is quite a bit longer than the other two so in addition to being uh, plus pressure plus P and being that much longer I've got a feeding issue here so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here I'm going to take one of these and uh, and just try and chamber one so they I got no problem getting into the tube here I'll just tilt that towards the the camera there but the issue I've got because that bullet is longer and that, I've got that lever all the way back there it's just too long to feed it's not even going um, you know popping up so if I work that lever that's just going right back into the tube do it again for you <laughs> you'll see it's going in and out of the tube it's not popping up and heading into the chamber there so uh, it looks like you know being uh, in addition to a, a plus P load here we've got a, a feeding issue so as a, a backcountry bear load in this gun that's just not going to work I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, pick that out of there probably come out through the side loading gate I'm going to turn the camera off and see how long it takes me to do that uh, just for fun we're, we're going to top feed one of these and uh, and fire it anyways Okay, so it took me about 20 minutes to get those out of there. I actually had two jammed in. The one that I did off camera, that's how I knew it wasn't going to work. And then the one that I did for you guys. So I, I kind of jammed myself up even further. That's okay. Uh, all in the name of science here. So what, what I like to do is I'm still going to uh, top feed one of those and just get a sense of the, the recoil difference between uh, you know the other ammo that I had and those 325 grain barrel loads. So... Uh, I think what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to do two of the jacketed first. These are 225 grain. And then I'm going to do two of the uh, the lead cowboy loads. Uh, and then I'm going to drop one of those bear loads in the top and and we'll just uh, you know see what happens if, if, if we can tell uh, any kind of a recoil difference. So earplugs in and uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, so that's the cowboy lead. Okay, so the last two were jacketed, and honestly, I, I really couldn't tell any, any difference there. Uh, 225 versus 250 grain. I don't have any um, numbers on the box for the cowboy load, so uh, I don't know really how much... Uh, you know how much slower they were than the other ones the american eagles uh, are 850 so 
that of course that's out of a pistol 850 feet per second so they're really not that that hot to start with so let's uh let's take one of these hsm bear loads and like i said i'm just going to drop it in the top and uh we'll see what happens and i'll close our eyes a little bit here earplugs definitely on this one all right hsm bear load wow a little bit more of a punch on that one so there you go kind of a long video to to find out something wasn't going to work but in the end uh, maybe we learned something uh useful for you guys if you're considering buying a box of those up here in canada 70 bucks for for 50 of those so um you know kind of think twice uh, definitely about you know what uh what ammo you're going to put in your gun uh and do some research on the whole plus p thing there, there's lots of information out there but, but in the end you're gonna have to use your own judgment so that's it for this one thanks for watching till next time take it easy